TypeScript TSDK specifies the folder path to the server and libdts files under the TypeScript install to use for IntelliSense. So um, essentially, um, this setting defines the type TypeScript library and the um, TypeScript compiler that you're going to use in, in a particular um, repository. <clears throat> and you have two options. You can set this here, and this is a user um, scoped setting, mean, meaning that if you set the, the path here, uh, VS Code will work with this a particular version of TypeScript in all uh, repositories that all, all folders that you open. Uh, if you don't set anything here, you're just going to use the built-in TypeScript version that VS Code has. Uh, right now, it's uh, three point six point three. And you have another option, which is you can uh, set the TypeScript version uh, per repository, right? Um, and this is the the uh, like this this bullet point right here. Now, there's two types of workspaces, and uh, there's so so there's what I call the implicit workspace, which is uh, VS Code assumes that whatever folder you open is a workspace, and you have those settings inside VS Code uh, the the dot VS Code folder. So I call this an, an implicit workspace. But actually, this is both uh, because I have the settings for the implicit workspace and I have an explicit workspace, which just means that you have an explicit file that defines the folders of the workspace and the settings. Now, uh, just, just as a side note, if you have an explicit workspace, the settings for the implicit workspace don't matter, right? So they are overwritten uh, by the um, explicit workspace settings okay so um, you can have the TypeScript version uh, coming from a bunch of places VS codes uh, default uh, built-in TypeScript version so if you don't use this anywhere and, and you leave this set to null that, that's what's going to happen uh, then you can explicitly set uh, TypeScript version here. So, for example, if you globally install TypeScript with npm, you can point this. Uh, uh, you po you can point VS Code to that specific version instead of using the built-in VS Code version. Um, then, you can use it as a workspace setting, but only at at least at the moment has an explicit workspace setting. So, if you set it here in the implicit settings, and I just copied everything to the settings.json file, um, it's going to tell you, it's, it kind of shows you a weird message. It tells you this setting cannot be applied now. It will be applied when you open this folder directly, which makes absolutely no sense. This setting cannot be applied now um, uh, conveys that it may be applied in the future. No, this setting cannot be applied here in, in, in an implicit workspace. So it doesn't work if you set the setting in settings.json inside the .vs code folder. And it will be applied when you open this when you open this folder directly. Doesn't make sense either because it doesn't make sense to open the .vs code folder directly. So what this message actually means, well, not what it means, what it should uh, have written there is that um, this typescript.tsdk setting only works in an explicit workspace dot code workspace file okay so it only works here not here okay uh, moreover this setting is actually kind of redundant um, because VS Code automatic, automatically detects that you have TypeScript installed on your Node Modules folder, and it will detect that for you, right? So if you, so we can actually test that out. So let's go to the settings file. Let's remove everything. Let's re leave it empty because it doesn't really work here anyway. But I can show you that. Now 
the, let's leave this setting uh, set to null uh, and let's remove this setting here and let's go case by case. Okay, so if we open a TS file, actually we need to reload. If we open a TS file, VS code is going to show the built-in 3.6.3 version. Okay, let's start by using this setting right here. So let's open the console and okay, install global TypeScript and let's use the whatever is the next version. All right, now let's set this to that. So let's go into Oh, good question. Where is this installed? There we go. And we only need the lib. There we go. All right. Now, if we, I'm not sure if we need to reload. Yeah, apparently we do. I notice that VS Code is not now automatically using not version 3.6.3 which I think was the what it had before, but it's using version 3.7.0, dev something, something. All right, cool. Now let's set this back to null. Let's remove the globally installed TypeScript. All right, and if we reload, TypeScript will have the built-in version, okay. So this, this works, right? This works pretty well. Now let's try setting this setting. Let's try using this setting, which is a little bit, a little less redundant here. This means that um, we already have TypeScript installed, but just to be sure that we have the version that we're looking for, let's uninstall it. And let's install as a dev dependency the next version. So if we come into our package.json, well, we have this version right here. Okay. Let's set this here. Not sure if we have, yeah, it's just lib, and then we have everything we need here. Yeah, ts uh, server.js, that's what we we're looking for. Okay, whoops. Okay, so let's try and reload. And notice that VS Code is still using 3.6.3. However, even if this worked, um, you still had to manually change the version here. For security, security reasons, uh, at least that's what the VS Code team says, I'm not um, aware, I, I don't know why, uh, the, like the, the rationale behind having to click this little button and then changing here by hand, uh, but, but you still do. Now, uh, the thing is, it doesn't really matter if you have this setting here or this setting so, so in an implicit workspace, I call this an implicit workspace, or if you have it in, an ex in the explicit uh, dot .code uh, workspace file, because VS Code will actually automatically detect uh, that tab TypeScript is installed in your node modules, and it will give you that option anyway. But still, let Let's, let's, let, let, I'm, I'm just going to show you anyway. So um, the setting can be, cannot be applied now, but you can't see, really know that it's not working uh, because you still have the uh, use workspace setting option here. However, this option is coming from automatic detection. It's not coming from this file per se. The only hint that you have that this is not working is this little uh, comment. Okay, and obviously the fact that if you remove that, you still have the workspace setting here that's being automatically detected. Okay, 
The other place where you can set that setting is here in the explicit dot code workspace file. And if you do that, now this works, but it's the same problem. Well, it's the same situation. I wouldn't call it a problem exactly. And the situation is that the TypeScript version is being um, automatically detected anyway. And there you go. Now, if we change this, like let's just add a slash so that the path is wrong. So that you can see that this is the VS Code's version. This is the one that's coming from that workspace setting. Uh, so it cannot load because it has an extra slash there. And this is the automatically detected one. Okay, so this setting is useful. Like the only use case that I can think of for having this setting here is if you want to have a TypeScript, um, is if you want to have TypeScript somewhere not on the node modules. Because otherwise it's just automatically detected, then you don't really need this setting here. You just need to remember to click this button and change the version manually. And you have to do that manually anyway. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Uh, if it wasn't, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and uh, clear it up.